The Transplant Institute is just uh, essentially an infrastructure that houses all the solid organ transplants at Henry Ford Hospital. And kidney transplant is one of the anchor programs, being the first program that started in 1968, and we just celebrated our 50th anniversary last year. The Transplant Institute has really helped our kidney transplant program. It has allowed us to partner with the other solid organ systems to help our patients, whether it be doing combined transplants like a heart kidney transplant or a liver kidney transplant. It also allows us to have resources if we have questions about uh, difficult patients who may have these types of conditions, uh, whether they would benefit from a kidney transplant alone versus a combined kidney transplant program. In addition, the Transplant Institute allows us to concentrate or focus on what we really want to do, which is transplant. So although we do have some interest and expertise in other aspects of medicine or surgery, it really sort of allows us to focus on uh, kidney transplant, which is, I think, the, the real benefit of being part of this institute. The Center for Living Donation is a philosophy as well as a physical entity. Living donors do not require an operation. They come to help somebody else. And that level of gift deserves a concierge level of care. The old paradigm was the kidney recipient is the sick patient. They require most of the attention. And we realized that living donors were not getting their appropriate amount of attention, medically, research-wise, psychological, preoperatively, and postoperatively. So we decided to begin the Center for Living Donation, which focuses uh, on the care uh, of the donor in particular. Research, education, and also recruiting donors, helping recipients find donors and educating recipients to know that donors will be very well cared for, uh, very well screened, which will allow people to be more comfortable allowing their children, family members, and friends to donate. Center for Living Donation is one of the very few centers in the country which provides donor-centric care. Uh, we provide highest quality care right from the time the donor gets engaged by the recipient or they hear about us on internet or TV, and that care continues until several years after donation. Not only that, because of the Center for Living Donation, we get an opportunity to care for specific subgroups of population like African Americans or uh, women of childbearing potential and look at the impact that donation can have over the rest of their lives. We've done 76 robotic kidney transplants from 2013 to 2019. With that, we've actually done a, a long review of our outcomes, and we've seen that basically there, there's been no difference in overall length of stay in, in the hospital, no difference in overall dissatisfaction or kidney function. We know that they have less wound complications for sure. We are very optimistic that this will be the way of the future. People are very happy with it. Our referring physicians, including nephrologists, have seen a dramatic change in people's perception of transplant if they're not always reminded of, of it by these large incisions. The population that the Institute covers is highly diverse. And we have areas that have been poorly explored in transplantation particularly the characteristics of different ethnic groups like Middle Easterners, and we have a growing population of Hispanics as well. And all these areas are areas where we would like to start clinical research and fill in the gaps. The exciting thing about the uh, clinical trials here at Henry Ford is we have an extensive number of uh, clinical trials and some of them are multi-center trials focusing on various aspects that include immunosuppression. And now we're more excited about the molecular uh, diagnosis of acute rejection or graft injury, whether it be liver or it be kidney, which I am certain will change the way we look at how graft monitoring, graft interventions will be in the next few years. Physician outreach is critical to our program. Uh, they are the referring physicians that bring us the actual patients uh, so that we can service the patients in our community and the collaboration amongst them once we see patients and send them back post-transplant is imperative to make the program a success. 
So currently we have an app that we use. Uh, we rolled that out a few years back to our physicians and it's been widely successful. The app that we use is uh, the Henry Ford Transplant Institute app and it allows physicians to send new referrals over through the app and communicate with the team. What is exciting about the future of the Transplant Institute is the continued evolution of that collaborative mindset where we engage collectively to get better clinical outcomes, uh, better work processes, reaching out in the communities, transplant research collaboratively, and I'm even more excited with engaging uh, the patients and their families through the transplant living community as well as patient family and advisory councils. At the end of the day, with one big team, one big family surrounding patients and their caregivers, and we all need to be engaged together towards a common purpose.